Hey, storyteller, are you up for a challenge? Hey, kid. What challenge, which effacent? Oh, <laughs> now it's not a challenge. If I tell you what it is, now would it be? Okay, what is your challenge? <laughs> Where did you? Just magic. Just, just look at it. Oh, oh. What is this? No, reading aloud. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do now? Well, maybe I should read it. But it says no, no reading aloud. So, ooh, you're going to have to break the rules and be bad. Oh, and look, look, what does it say there? What does it say? It says some words. Say them out loud, because after all, you're a storyteller. Mm. It says the worst read aloud book ever. That's right, it's the worst. <laughs> I brought you the worst read aloud book ever and I'm gonna make you try to figure out what to do. That is your challenge. <laughs> is she gone now? <laughs> that laughing feels good. <laughs> okay, I think she's gone now. Okay, so we've got ourselves a situation here. No reading aloud, and it's the worst read aloud book ever. And I don't like to read the worst books. I only like to read you the best books. Oh no, storyteller, stop, stop, stop. Wait, what's wrong, Dr. Dinosaur? Oh, you can't read this book. It, it is illegal. I don't. I don't think it's illegal. It says it right there, no reading aloud. But did you also see that it specifically says, oh, wow, what, what? I just see the big no. Well, look, it says it's a book. Oh, I'm confused. I know. I think it's designed to confuse us, which is why Witch Jefferson brought us the book to confuse us. Oh, yes, that makes sense. But what? Well, no, 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 don't be nervous, don't be nervous. Oh, it, just, it, it just says no, we probably should just, maybe we should put it back. No, I mean, don't you think that if you were a book, yeah, you would want a kid to read you? Oh, I, and if I was a book, uh-huh, I would want Storyteller to read me. So don't you think I should do it even though the cover says no? Because maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe the cover was designed by somebody like Wichaficent meant to confuse us and make the book sad for not reading it. Oh, now that you put it that way, I feel like you must read this book right away, okay? You promise? I promise I will read it right away. Thank you. I'll be right over here. Okay, okay, get yourself comfortable. You comfortable? Mm. I... I do admit I'm a little <clears throat> nervous. Uh, and it says it's a confusing collection of hilarious homonyms and sound alike sentences. Eh, pardonnez-moi, sorry, the lair. Hey, Gilles, the giraffe, I was just about to start. Eh, oui, oui, oui. But uh, as you know, I'm French. Everybody knows you're French. And uh, since English is not my uh, first language, can you please tell me what is a homonym? Oh, the homonym, good question. A homonym is a word that sounds exactly the same but can mean two totally different things. Oh, I see. So that is not like a synonym. No, a synonym is two totally different sounding words, but they can mean the same thing. Uh, like uh, happy and joyful. Yes, those would be synonyms. But um, the homonyms sound exactly the same. And again, totally different things. Oh, I need to hear this book and get my English better. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, we're all gonna... <clears throat> find this book to be, I'm sure, challenging. And um, we're gonna learn some stuff. Weird stuff, I'm sure, because it was recommended by you know who. The hair came forth. Ooh, a hair came forth that emerged from the spaghetti. Ah. The hair came forth in the race, came forth as opposed to coming forth. and. Let's see who's winning first, the turtle and then the snail. No, then the snail and then the worm and the snail and then the hair came forth? What happened to the hair? That must have been something crazy along the way. We were all astonished by the foul feet. Everybody's amazed, the foul feet, the accomplishment by this bird. Wow. We were all astonished by the foul feet. Oh yeah. 
I'm familiar with foul feet on the subway. <laughs> I bet he is. The mummy prepared Pharaoh for dinner. Pharaoh is this big bowl of like rice-like type stuff. The mummy prepared Pharaoh for dinner. Huh. Now, how is he preparing the Pharaoh? Is he just like massaging him, getting him prepped up and loose and ready for dinner? Or is he going to prepare the Pharaoh for dinner? We may never know. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, I don't want to know. They mustered everything but couldn't catch up. We relished it. Ah, uh, yes, to muster everything you've got is to mean to pull from down deep below every last scrap of everything you've got to give to something. They mustered everything but couldn't catch up. We relished it. It's a condiment joke. They bowled in all caps. They bowled in all caps. See how radically different the same sentence is? They bowled bloop, with a ball wearing caps, in all caps. They is in bold and all caps, all capital letters. I know, I know. I feel my brain melting a little bit just on the left top side. Just a little bit. Just hold it in. Hold it in. We got this. We can keep going. We will win this challenge. <laughs> sure you will. <laughs> Your brain is melting already. She had all the dough she could need. She had all the dough she could need. Hey! It's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. That is clearly the animal kingdom. The pool queue is far too long. The pool queue is far too long. Now, queue is another way of saying a line. So the line for the pool is too long and the pool queue to play pool with is far too long. But you cannot play pool in a pool. No, no, pretty sure that has not been invented yet. Yet. His pants are tapered. His pants are tapered <laughs> with actual tapers. The new deli clerk runs a pretty sorry store. <laughs> the new deli clerk runs a pretty Sorry store. Oh la la, look at that, I am in this book. That is my sorry store. I did not know that you wore saris, Gilles the Giraffe. Eh, sometimes I do. And, uh, but this poor new, new deli clerk, he's the new deli clerk as opposed to the clerk in New Delhi. He's running a sorry store. Sorry is in As opposed to the fashion statement that is a sorry. Sir Francis Bacon. Sir France is bacon. Ooh la la, we oui, in the summer, we are hot to trot. Orion's belt is out. That is the constellation. Oh, Ryan's belt is out. Ah, yes. Ryan, the ridiculous. <laughs> is your brain breaking yet? No. Yes, I can see it. No, it's not breaking. <laughs> I bet yours is breaking, kid. <laughs> Oops. I meant thing, thing. Yes, thing. Ooh, you accidentally said kid. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You're a thing. Mm-hmm. We all heard it. My Navy father, he's in the Navy, had blue jeans. My mother was well read. They marooned me. They forgot the kid on the island. That's being marooned when you're marooned up on an island somewhere all alone without any way of getting off. My Navy father had blue jeans. My mother was, well, red. They marooned me. It's a color joke. Oh, a storyteller. If your brain is melting, I understand. English is my second language, and this is hard. Oh, Paula Bear, I understand. The English language, quite the doozy. Oh, hi. Oh, it is quite the doozy for all of us. 
the barred man looted the establishment. Looted. That means he stole stuff from a place, and now he's behind bars. It makes him a barred man. The barred man looted the establishment. The barred is an old word for a poet, a performer, and he's looting the establishment because he's playing the loot right there. La 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 And apparently offending some people. La 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 The hero had supervision! The hero had supervision! He's supervising the hero sandwich. Here they're hurt. Here they're hurt. Bah. The fearsome predator preys. That's mean he's hunting. The fearsome predator preys. Uh oh, please don't eat me. This one I really like because I remember learning this word when I was a kid and it blew my mind. So get ready. The barn is raised. Clear. The barn whoosh, is raised. Oh, that's right. Raised and raised mean opposite things and sound exactly the same. You can raise something, build it, but raising something with a Z means whoosh, destroying it, bringing it down. I remember still being shocked about that word and how that could even exist. And when you just say it, if people don't know the word, they think you mean the opposite of what you're saying. So then you'll be like this book and be confusing. Stu, where's Stu when it's time to eat? Stu, where's Stu when it's time to eat? Aha, see that? That was actually pretty cool. We see the Queen's burrow thanks to our anthill. We see the Queen's burrow bridge thanks to our anthill. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's the Queensboro Bridge in New York City. Oh, that's where I go to go to Queens. Oh, and hey, Aunt, haven't seen you on the queue line in a while. <laughs> White Rat knows everybody. It's amazing. The children scarfed the moose. The children scarfed the moose. Brr, it was cold. Beware the sharp turn. Beware the sharp turn. A turn is a seabird, and sharp, of course, meaning smart. The pitcher held the batter. The pitcher held the batter. Yee! Hold me. Arr. Man, a tea sounds great. Manatee sounds great. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember that concert. Manatees and the show were amazing. Oh, gosh. Future Fish goes to all the best underwater concerts. I didn't know also that manatees were such good performers. The friar sizzled on the range. The poor friar sizzled on the range. Home, home, on the range. I really need an air conditioner. C major, it's a beautiful key. C major, it's a beautiful key. Okay, I'm going to tell you something, kid. I was a full-on grown-up when I learned that this word is pronounced key and not quay, because it totally looks like quay, right? Doesn't it? <laughs> fooled you. I know, I was fooled by that word, but it's key. And it's that thing, it's a platform where ships can load and offload and unload. The miners rode with oars, that's those rocks, precious rocks. The miners rode with oars, <laughs> miner, like you kid. Four mermaids jumped over the good news. Ah. Four mermaids jumped over the good news. Ah. Four mermaids, four mermaids. Ah, that is so clever, I can't stand it. And why are they four mermaids, you ask? Because they just won the lottery. <laughs> That's the good news. And these are also very good news. It's fun to read this book if it isn't allowed. It's fun to read this book if it isn't allowed. Oh, this has been a challenge. Oh, and now we have the worst glossary ever so that that way you could look at all these words and 
possibly fried your brain like that fryer's brain on the range and figure out what some of these things mean. <laughs> You'll never figure it out. Well, literally, it's like right there to figure out. Nope, nope, it's so confusing. You don't understand anything. You know what's happened? Your brain melted. Well, it did a little bit in this corner right here. <laughs> it's completely melted. You just haven't even realized it yet. And the worst part of all, or the best in your case, yeah, <laughs> is that you broke the rules. You read, and you also broke your own rules. What is my own rule that I broke? You read the worst read aloud book ever. <laughs> I win. You know, she might have actually won a little bit, but it wasn't that bad because we learned something, something about how confusing the English language is. Oh, sorry, Telen. I think my brain melted a little bit. Oh, well, a bear. I know that was a lot of confusing English in there. Oh, I need a cafecito and a dessert. Do you want to come with me? Do I ever? Absolutely. Let's go. Okay, kid, I'm going to go off with Abuela Bear and uh, we'll be here again because you know what? You know what? No matter what what Jefferson says, reading is always allowed right here on Kid Time Story Time. <laughs>